Hello again, YouTube. Um, today we have an unboxing, more like an unpackaging, of the White Hat Holsters Max Tuck Holster. So before we do that, I do have my PPS and 9mm here. Let's make sure it's clear. As you can see, these are my dummy rounds yet again. And this is a dummy round as well. So we'll do an administrative reload. In which we're going to put um, one in the chamber, eight in the mag. This will represent the heaviest that will ever be in this holster. The heaviest way I'll ever carry it. I also have my seven round mag here. And we'll save that for a little bit later. But for right now, this is how it comes. It comes in a uh, USPS priority mail envelope. Uh, shipping was extremely fast. Uh, I got an email that this is being shipped on Friday, and he, today's Monday, and it's at my door, and these people are in, I do believe, Texas. Yep, these people in Arlington, Texas. I'm up in uh, upstate New York. And so, I mean, shipping to from Texas to upstate New York was three days maximum. So, I was really pleased with the shipping. Uh, the shipping is $10. Uh, $10 isn't too bad. That brought the cost of this holster to $69 shipped, um, which is phenomenal seeing how crossbreeds start at $69. Uh, in here we have um, it's an inventory packaging slip as well as uh, care instructions and retention instructions. I'll look at those a little bit later. And we also have the holster itself. Clamped under here are what look to be more Chicago screws, and it is. I, uh, I opted for the combat cut just because I have a relatively small framed pistol, so getting a good grip on it um, immediately is important. I didn't do any add-ons except for the combat cut, um, mainly because I didn't want to pay for them. That's why I didn't do them. It also comes with Tony's card from Whitehead Holsters. He's the owner. Oh, it comes with two of his cards. And a save $10 on joining the NRA flyer. Other than that, this is empty. So first impressions of the holster, um, very, very good. Nice embroidery, strong kydex, very well set. Um, what looks to be a very comfortable backing. Uh, set right now for no cant. Not very loose on the screws either, which is good. Definitely something I can see myself wearing every day for right now. So, right now I'm just going to check the uh, retention of the holster. Right out of the box, no modifications. You guys saw, it just came right out of the package. Um... I ordered this specifically for my PPS. Uh, it does have front front sight relief, which I like a lot. Uh, let's see how well this fits. It has a good physical click into place. Um, it seems to fit very well. Uh, the combat cut covers all the metal, which my slot the slide is the only thing that's metal. And only exposed to the polymer, which is nice. I really do like that. Uh, the polymer isn't going to get cold like the metal is on a winter day or anything like that. So, uh, I really like the combat cut. I figured since I have a polymer frame pistol, a combat cut would work. If I had a 1911, I probably wouldn't do a combat cut just because, um, just because there's a lot of metal. And metal is freaking cold, believe me. One of my holsters, my car holster, if you uh, check out that review, uh, it doesn't have a, a full sweat shield. 
and the slide pokes me sometimes, and it is freaking cold. Um, the last thing I want to do is be jumping around because my gun's hitting me. So let's check uh, upside down retention. This is with a uh, a loaded eight round magazine of dummy rounds, which have a realistic weight. They're a lot not as heavy as a regular round, but they're pretty close. Um, so upside down. Few shakes. This thing is not coming out. Um, as you can see, I'm not pinching anything. I'm not holding anything. I'm just holding onto the leather, and this is not coming out. Um, but if I grab it, it's just a clean, a clean draw. That retention is phenomenal. I am impressed. Oh, I'm very impressed by this. Um, just. A great, great holster altogether. I'm I'm extremely impressed with this. Uh, for fifty nine dollars plus ten dollars shipping, it's it's just a really good deal. I'm sorry, I uh, keep texting during the middle of this. My girlfriend's in the hospital. Uh, just trying to keep updated. So, yeah, I, I like this a lot. God, this is phenomenal. Yeah, look, I mean, this is just great. All right, let me, um, I will never, I'll never carry with this eight round mag. Uh, it's too large in the butt here to, to really conceal. Um, so let me switch over to the seven round mag <clears throat> really quickly. And we will, uh, we will see how well it fits inside my waistband, even though right now I'm not wearing a belt. That's okay. So that's, that's how it looks with the seven round in, um, which is 99.9% .9 of the time how I'll be carrying it. Uh, I practice with the seven round. I shoot competition with the seven round. Um, seven round is going to be my carry. Um, note on the combat cut, look at this. It allows perfect 100% full grip. Look how high on the back strap I am. This is just a absolute great combat cut. Um, I feel that if I had gotten it in a regular cut, uh, it wouldn't be as adequate to drawing as this combat cut is. Um, again, with the seven round in, retention is great. I mean, I really, it's, it's not coming out of here. Let's put this in my pants and see how well it feels. Um, wow, that was the, probably the gayest comment that's ever come out of my mouth. Anyway, let's put this inside my waistband. <laughs> Now, normally, um, with these, you would wear a belt. Um, normally, I would as well, but I don't have a belt on right now. So, I'm not going to wear a belt for this test because I don't want to go get my belt because I'm freaking lazy. Uh, but, this is... I assume this would be a lot easier to get on with a belt than it is right now because it's a little tough when you first start it. But... There we are. Okay, so right out of the box, um, this is riding at about a four o'clock position. It's a little too far back for me. Right now, as you can see, it's right about where my wallet is. Um, 
Oh, I feel like it, it really holds against my body really well. Uh, hugs my body great. I feel like it's a little too far back. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little too far back behind me. As it's right here above my wallet. Um, it's actually this is more this is actually more of a small back location. Um, I'm gonna have to move it over the side a little bit. You have to give me one second to do that. Okay, give me one second, and I'll move. Let's see if I can't move this over. Um, even without a belt on, this holds pretty well. Uh, actually, holds really well to the point where I couldn't I couldn't slide it over to my hip because it was held so well. Oh, this thing is kind of a pain in the ass right now. It really needs to curve my body. It's not going to do that until I wear it for a while. So that side's in. That side's almost in. There we go. There we are. Okay. Give me one second here. Make sure everything's adjusted. Make sure this is down all the way. And this is down all the way. Oh, a little too far on that one. Okay. So now that's... Here's the small of my back. Here's the four o'clock position. This is where the gun's riding. It is pressed 100% flat. Look at this, flat against my back. Throw this on over it. This is just a light t-shirt. There's absolutely no printing. This is probably the most comfortable, most phenomenal holster I'll ever wear. Um, whoa. Um, yeah, I just, I don't see this being a problem at all. That's me bending over and you can see minimal printing. Um, but we all know that first rule of concealed carry, don't bend, squat. Um, sitting is, sitting prints. Um, I, I assume this would be better if I have a belt on, but I don't. Um, I, I'll... I'll wear this all day. I'll go put a belt on. I'll wear this all day. Um, the draw is fantastic. Reholstering is a oh, reholstering is a breeze. Much better than any other uh, IWB holster I've ever had, I've ever worked with or reviewed. Um, oh yeah, yeah. This the draw and reholster is. That's quite good. That's how I would uh, like it to be. Okay, um, I'm going to wear this all day, and then I will review later on how comfortable it is. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a bit. Bye.